What's up, my LS Cranes Amigos? It's your boy, Terry, speaking from the garage shop again. Hit off some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. What's going on, everyone? How you guys doing? Beautiful. As you can see, we got it pretty much going on here. You know, we're a couple of days away from tuning this truck. I can't wait. It's such an exciting time at the garage shop. But before we tune this truck, what I got to do is I got to install an air fuel ratio gauge in other words, a wide band gauge. You know, that way it will tell me, or better yet, it'll tell the tuner what the air fuel mixture is all throughout the RPM range. So I have one sitting right there. It's, it's see, you can't see it, but it's sitting right there. And uh, we're gonna go over it and we're gonna install this. Let's do it, come on. This is the AEM X Series wide band air fuel ratio gauge. This is the second generation, and this is necessary to get the most perfect air fuel ratio, which is, I believe, 14.7. This gauge has a lot of functions, which we're not gonna go over right now. We're gonna just install this, but I will tell you, I heard that this gauge is so sensitive where it could detect a misfire. How cool is that? Let's open it up and see what we gotta deal with. And there's the gauge. All right, comes with Bosch's latest high-tech O2 sensor. Really cool. And look, they even give you anti-seas on it. <laughs> wow, it comes with a bung. All right, so you may have to drill a hole and weld this bung or have it done, you know, so you can use it. But we're not gonna have that issue because the Trailblazer SS came stock with four O2 sensors, two upstream, two downstream. Now, the downstream sensors we're gonna shut off in the tune. So we're only gonna have the two. So this will be a perfect place, one of them, to put our new O2 sensor in for our gauge. And of course, the necessary cabling to run it, which is more than enough if you wanna run it inside your car any way you wanna do it. So let's get installing. Yeah. Uh, I just removed the old O2 sensor. This is one of the downstream ones. So we're not gonna use this one any longer. So now I'm gonna replace it with that new, sensitive, high-tech, Bosch-style O2 sensor. Put it right here. Put it in. Oh, got it. It's going. Install. This is one of the two harnesses that came with the kit that connects to the O2 sensor, which the other end of this connects to the gauge. Now this is the power harness. This is the harness that's gonna, now this is gonna supply power to the gauge. And you gotta hook it up to uh, a key on where when you turn the key on, the gauge will come on. And this thing got enough leads where you can hook up, wow, you can, you can hook up a data logger, you can hook up a serial output. You know, this is a, uh, this gauge is pretty choice, but don't forget, always run a five amp fuse. So now we're gonna hook the gauge up, all right? It's a pretty gauge. And if you look on the back, you see the two places where a connector can go. One is under the car. You remember we had the harness for the O2 sensor. That plugs in right there. We have the harness for the power. Plugs in right there. And that's pretty much it. And I know what you guys are thinking. Terry, are you gonna mount that gauge? I'm not sure if I want the gauge to be shown all the time. So now if your thing is to have a whole bunch of gauges sitting on your dashboard or wherever, they give you enough cable where you can do that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in the glove compartment, pop open the door, if ever I need to tune the car or whatever, close the door, out of sight. Or I might just pop it in that little SS emblem where it says Trailblazer SS and pretty much serves no purpose. So put it there. I'm just not sure. I wanna see what it looks like. But for now, we're gonna leave it just like this. I'm gonna put it right here for tuning purposes.
that's all there's to hooking up the AM X series wideband air fuel ratio gauge. Yeah, things look kind of slick. I might put it in an SS uh, opening over there. Who knows? But anyways, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys for all the love, all the questions, all the interest. It really helps me out. And I hope these videos help you out. I really do. You know, because that's what they're designed to do. All right. Now, if you like what you see, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the follows, hit the friend, all that stuff on social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff. All right. And don't forget, you know, now that we got this gauge, we're going to be doing a remote tune with Ed Gomez from Pro Edge Tuning. That's right. Yeah. He's going to lo log into his computer into my computer, that's right. And he's gonna do a nice remote tune and he's gonna check the air fuel mixture, <laughs> all that good stuff so we can get the truck running then we're gonna run with it for a little bit and then we're gonna bring it up to Connecticut and then we're gonna get a dyno tune and that's gonna be fun because what's gonna happen is we're gonna do the same thing what we did with the Chevelle. You remember that? Where I wanna know what you think this number's gonna push. I'm gonna tell you the recipe on this truck, what kind of cam, the heads, all the good stuff, the LSA, all that good stuff, so you can make a, a informed conclusion of the, what you think the power rate is going to be on this truck. If it's going to be 600, 700, 650, 900, who knows? But the closest one, who knows? Uh, the closest one with the horsepower and torque, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you'll get a cover man shirt. Who knows? All right? <laughs> but at this time, I want to thank you guys again, really. But I'm looking at the clock on the wall. Or should I say ceiling? It's not for me to head on enough. And as always, in part, please, as always, be easy. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.